offended just because I use the word New York. You know what I'm talking about. All right, well, tough, just the whole area, we're tough. But the, the strong manager, the best manager that I've ever met, in spite of the challenges, in spite of all the aggregators, they go figure it out and they go about and get it done. They don't live in this bubble of if. That's one of the things I love about the New York franchisee. The franchisees that I know in this room, and I know many of you for 30 years, 25 years, and the fact that I respect you is because you spent 10 minutes talking about the problem, and 50 minutes talking, or 20 minutes, or 30 minutes talking about the solution. And then you go get it done, right Anthony? You get it done. We have to figure it out. I got the problem, I don't want to dwell in it, I'm not gonna ignore it, I gotta deal with it. It's my reality, but I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna get it done. Tell the person next to you, we get it done in New York. <laughs> Come on, Rick, we get it done in New York. It's an attitude, it's a mindset. If this is your first rally, listen to me, if this is your first rally and you're gonna take anything with you, take the fact that it's a mindset, it's an attitude. Hey, Zeus Ariaga is not here right now. He's a supervisor of a cookstick. He's not here right now. But, and I always say this story. When I met Hey Zeus years ago, I, had, I did a manager rally like this in Giant Stadium. Hey Zeus was an assistant manager. I'm talking 20 years ago. And we were talking, we were talking about delivery, charging for, charging, uh, what was the minimum delivery? And everybody was like, well, I'm not gonna deliver it less than $5. No, I'm not gonna deliver it, you know, $7, that's the minimum. And, and everybody was kind of talking about it. And Hey Zeus got up and said, I'll deliver a can of Coke if I have to. That's what Jesus said. And I remember, and everybody looked at him crazy, right? What do you mean a can of Coke? Ask Jesus how many can of Cokes he delivered in his time. None. It's not about the can of Coke. It was about the attitude. Yes or no? Yeah. And I know the New York manager has an attitude. It's a winning attitude. It's a winning mindset. It doesn't mean we're always going to agree on everything. We can't always agree on everything. But you got the winning attitude. If you have a freaking winning attitude, get up and make me some noise. Come on. Now, the reality is some of you didn't make noise. And some of you didn't get up. And some of you got up like this. <laughs> and let me tell you, if you did that, we're gonna give you another chance later again to do it right, okay? Because we don't give up on people. But I wanna share just four things, four or five things with you that I believe that will help you with this mindset. Yes, can I share that real quickly? Yeah? Yes? Yeah? All right. The first one is believing yourself. Now I'm not talking about believing yourself in a, you know, you know, just look in the mirror and go, damn, I'm good looking. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what we just finished talking about, which is you can't let your challenges, you can't let the situation control and determine your outcome, right? Because we, we operate in a very high cost area. We, in New York, the New York, New Jersey area, this area that I cover, we, there's only very little room for error, yes or no? Yeah. We can only make certain amount of bad orders. There's just certain amount of mistakes. We can only make certain amount of this bad decisions. Because if you make too many of those bad decisions, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Right? Yeah. Other parts of the country has a little bit more room. Not here, but this is where the operators that are tough operate. This is where the best Domino's pizza in the world operate. There's someone, I think, I forget, it was Brian, who said we're the best in the one in the world. Let me tell you something. We are the number one pizza company in the world. We are the number one brand. We're in 90 plus countries. We're in third world countries. We're in countries that nobody else, nobody is even gonna come there anymore. We're in places that will blow your mind. And in the U.S., in the U.S., in a couple of months, maybe next month, in a couple of weeks, guess which market will take over as the number one market with store count, which will be the number one market in the United States? New York! New York! New York! Which market? New York! That's right. You will. And I 
expect the number one market in the country and one of the best places in the world for this brand, I expect to show and be with the very best in our brand. I expect that. And you know what? I know it because you're here. Look at the person next to you. You go, that's me. Come on, look at them. Seriously, look at them and go, that's me. I believe in me. I will bet on me. No matter what your challenges are. The second one, the second one is a very important one. All-star managers, all-star managers, all-star franchisees, all-star supervisors, all-star dominoes, believe and protect the brand. Believe and protect the brand. When you love something, or when you love somebody, what do you do? You protect, yes? When you care about something, you protect. You cannot run zero star operations and tell me that you're protecting. I am sorry, but that is not true. As a matter of fact, that is brand damaging when you run that kind of poor operations. Would you agree? Yes. Yes? yes. When you love and you protect, it gives you back. We're not always going to agree. It is difficult to always agree. Can you believe that my wife and I, we don't always agree? Usually because she doesn't agree. I love her very much, but we don't always agree. In every relationship, there's always gonna be disagreement. But you know what? We are committed to each other, yes or no? Yes. We are committed, and that's what makes the difference. That's what makes the difference with Domino's Pizza. That's why we say we're number one. That's why we say we're better than anybody else, because we're committed to each other. So when we screw up with your delivery, when we screw up with the technology, when we get it wrong on something, hey, let us know. No problem. The franchisees here, we have all kinds of conversations. We don't always agree, right, Tony? But we love each other, and we respect each other, and we make each other better, because our hearts are in the right place. Are you with me? Yes. yes? I hope there's going to be more franchisees coming out of here soon. So I need to tell you now, you got to believe in the brand and you got to protect it. When a franchisee or a manager tells me, I hate this child, I hate Domino's, then leave. <laughs> because while you're here, you're going to hurt yourself and you're going to hurt the brand and you're going to hurt others. Right? And we can't have that. So believe and protect the brand. Stay hungry to sell more pizzas. If there's anything I know about this market, is we are always hungry. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Yes. Team Cookston, are you always hungry for sales? Yes. How about you, MSK? Yes. Team Cookston wasn't too hungry. They, uh, well, I wonder if JMC Hospitality like hungry for sales. Oh. How about Mili Buyan's organization? You guys hungry? I mean, you're in the 70s. You, you got enough? Are you full because you're the 70s? Are you hungry? Yeah. I wonder if Team Sharp is ever hungry for sales. Yeah. Is Domino's Pizza hungry for sales? Yeah. You know why? You can't be an all star manager in New York and depend just on cutting costs. You can't just worry about cost. You gotta build sales. Yes or no? Yeah. Fran the franchisees in the room, don't we have to be hungry for sales? Yeah. We gotta be hungry for sales. And there's a lot of sales here. Everybody's stealing. You saw Jessica's presentation. Others are stealing our sales. There's others who are stealing our pizza. They're stealing in our pocket. We have to get aggressive. Just because we're number one, we don't wait. Because we're number one, we charge. We get better, right? We get stronger. We have to stay hungry. Please, if we lose our hunger, we die. If we, don't, if we lose our appetite for sales, we die as a brand in New York. So please look at the person next to you. I want you to really look at them in the eyes and say, stay hungry. Stay hungry. Come on, tell them, tell them. Find a friend. Some of y'all don't think like each other, but you know like, Come on, no, stay hungry, stay hungry, Gio, stay hungry. We gotta stay hungry. That's right, some of us are starving, right? Yeah. Starving for sales. Starving for sales.
maximize the technology. You have the panel here. Brian's done a phenomenal job. Can we give Brian a round of applause here? Come on. <laughs> Brian, Brian was talking before about technology with the group. We gotta be able to use technology to drive service. Service is who we are, just remember that. That is Domino's Pizza. What we do is we make pizzas, we make products. But who we are, who we were 60 years ago, what Tom Mon Monahan created was an opportunity to get the pizza to your house in what? In less than 30 minutes. We are about service. Right, Bill Dunn? We are about service, if he's here, not Katrina, Karina. We are about service, they do great in service, service. Every road leads to service. Use the technology that you have today to get better at it, to be more efficient, to make money. You know where we make most of our money? In service, service. Where's the biggest cost to our business, Rick and Carlos? In the delivery business, right? In the delivery side of the business. That's where the most of the costs go. So we gotta use the technology. You gotta love it, enjoy it, learn it. If you hate it, you can't do this job. And the last one, the last one, the last one. What's the last one? Have fun. Last one, have fun. And nobody can have any more fun than New York. New York knows how to have fun. Yeah? I don't know, what, what are you doing? Is that a 4th of July? When I say have fun, yeah, you have a different kind of fun. But let me make clear what fun is. Fun is celebrating 100% on the off scorecard. Fun is celebrating record weeks, yes? yes. Fun is, is making money. Fun is beating your FL costs. Fun is beating your EBITDA targets. Fun is winning. Fun is shutting down the competition. Fun is beating Cookston's team, is beating uh, MSK, beating Sharma, is beating this one, is beating, competing against each other in a fun way is good. Yes or no? Oh my God, Gio, Gio, how the hell?